All right, everybody, we are back to part two of this epic antique mall treasure hunt video. If you haven't checked out part one, please check it out. There was some awesome finds on there, y'all. And I did this video in two parts because this place is so awesome. This place is big and I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to do this place justice with the video. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff here, so much great stuff here at great prices. So, if y'all have it, please check this place out Antique Mall Treasure Hunt, Powder Springs, Georgia. Yeah, and looks like I might be in a section with some stuff I'm more interested in. Still looking for those retro toys and collectibles, vintage toys and collectibles, all that goodness. <laughs> y'all can see there's a lot of variety here yep and Taz over there chilling in the cut <laughs> all right and let's see you got okay a few Star Trek figures right there and Pez all right oh that takes me back <laughs> and he got a Mandalorian oh not it's a pop-up okay Interesting. Pez got competition these days. All right. All right. I remember I actually have some old Pez at the house. I think one of my Pez is like from 1970s, I think. I got a Spider Man Pez from the 1970s. And I was trying to see when this task is from, but I'm not sure what it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, this is kind of old too. All right. I might think about that as well. Have me a little small pants collection. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Star Trek figs. I think I'm good on these. All right. Let's see what is. Let's see these and stuff. Man. Oh, there's a lot of different types of stuff here. A lot of variety, I should say. <laughs> And this, oh, okay. The ones you love, comics and toys. Okay, this is new section. Okay. My antique mom got a new vendor. All right, I see you. I see y'all. Hmm. Whole bunch of alien and predator comic books. All right. 18 down there, I see that. Superhero, super TV heroes, and <laughs> old school Neutron One from Ghostbusters. That, oh, is that gift? Wow, that's a interesting looking gizmo. <laughs> yeah, that must be the original, original, <laughs> the first prototype. <laughs> oh man, oh man, you got some great stuff up in here, though. No? Okay, all right, you got some Motu down here. Nice. G.I. Joe. Alright. Okay. Okay, this new vendor coming with the good stuff. Alright, okay. I see you. Alright, vintage Star Wars over here too. Yep, some of these I got, some of them I still want to get. I still need to get the original 12 Star Wars figs. I haven't got all of them yet. Oh, all right. Then he got some great looking comic books over here too. He, I give him credit. His his booth is looking nice and clean and well, all booths are clean, but I want to say clean as in everything is looking great condition. Actually, he's been taking care of his stuff. You know. Yeah. That's what I mean. Of course, at this place itself is very clean. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I get the right context there. <laughs> but yeah, but these comic books are in great condition, sealed up quite nicely. All right. Yeah. Impact Winter Special. Yep, some of these comic books I haven't heard of before. And of course, some I have. Fantastic Four, yes. Okay. Nice looking one too. 
All right, and two dollars, man. See, I'm telling you, tell me, <laughs> this place got them awesome prices. Mm -hmm. All right. Some great stuff. I'm sorry for the little camera shake. My bad about that. All right. That is some great stuff here. I think lots of people, families can come here and some everybody find some of everything. <laughs> Just like right here in the corner. Star Wars figures. <laughs> See, see, and that's what I like. This, this is why this is really a treasure hunt. Cause you can be walking in a booth. They got pottery. They got old vintage stuff, household items, and then, hmm, right there on the floor, it's a container of Star Wars figures. <laughs> man, yeah. Oh, thirty percent off. Mm -hmm. See, got sales going on, man. If y'all ain't been to this antique mall, y'all need to come check it out. Man, I sure hope they will sponsor me one day. I sure am trying to get them more foot traffic and customers and such. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what else? And this is... Oh, it's a Star Trek set? Oh. My fantasy, I know a particular YouTuber who would like that, but I think he already got the whole set. That's a nice picture of them, though. So that's all the Star Trek movies. Eight bucks? Man. VHS? Oh, that screams nostalgia right there, huh? I might need to think about that myself. Huh. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, it's the Lego head Batman. Let's see Woody Woodpecker back there. Cabbage patch down there. <laughs> Ooh boy. A variety. Very nice, very nice booth. Um Alright, very nice booth. Alright, so this look like comic card collector protectors nice pottery old school lamps and discs and okay here we go here's another collectible section hmm. all right okay baseball memorabilia all right uh, oh oh and dragon ball and gundam interesting <laughs> oh wee and it's strike gundam I got that model kit at the house. Ah, I'm, I, I think about that. I think about that. Yeah, that is a cool action figure. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, ah, some old school games. Creo. <laughs> nice. All right. Hmm. Okay, you got a great assortment. Look like some three-inch superhero figures. Yeah. Model kit of two. All right. More model kits and ah, yep. There you go. Ah, every time I come here, I've been seeing this. <sighs> I'm thinking about it, y'all. I'm thinking about it because I already got the other flying machine from that movie. I might get that one too. Harry and the Hendersons. That was a good show. Movie back in the day. Dog. 
goes there. All right, so another collectible section right across the way. And hmm, got shoes. Got a macarena teddy bear. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> ah, guitar. Huh. Got kiss collectibles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big rock fan, but hey, for somebody who's looking for that, hey, it's here. And that's a nice plate. I know somebody else might want that too. <laughs> All right, what else? Hmm, you got some great looking items. Nice, nice variety. Okay. Ah, memories. Memories. <laughs> Ten lunch boxes. Oh my goodness. With the little cartoon of your favorite show. Man, this takes me way back. <laughs> Back to elementary school, we used to have my Transformer and He-Man tin or metal, whatever it was. Lunchbox, man. Had my sandwich and Doritos. <laughs> Ooh, I love nostalgia, y'all. In case y'all didn't know. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Baskets and Hot Wheels. All in the same section. And 12 inch action figures. See? Treasure hunts, people. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta take time and really look at these boots, guys. You can find some of everything up in here. All right. So, trying to move on and trying not to make this video too long. Trying. <laughs> but, like I said earlier, wow, this place is epic. I want to try to do it justice as well hmm. okay. all right so look oh, so some little pops right here Oh, Thunderbite. I remember. Yeah, it's this one back in the 90s. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, Thunderbite just sitting right there in the corner. Oh, yeah. I like these little puffs. Then the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie, that was a funny movie. And these little puffs, that was probably one of my favorite scenes, scenes in the actual movie when they came out. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it, I don't want to spoil it in case nobody has seen it, but yeah, yeah, I, I love the little puffs. <laughs> oh man. Alright. So yes, I think this one of, uh, one of the new booth owners as well, because I don't remember this section. Oh, that's real. Yeah, but that's good when the Antique Mall can keep adding more people, different vendors to come on in. Yeah. But actually, it was another large section I saw earlier. I'm um, off camera. <laughs> I saw earlier it was empty section and had a sign, new vendor coming soon. I'm like, oh, okay. They got a big section. I, I hope they retro collectibles and toys, but we'll we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Because I will be back to this place. All right. Let's see what else up here. Or something. Okay. 
Okay, these must be Dungeon Dice Masters. I guess AKA Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> okay, so got games over here. Games and movies, and comic books, and action figures. All right. Mm hmm. Variety. Yeah, more Star Trek figs, but I'm good on those. And a giant wolf head, okay. <laughs> and then parts of a megazord, I guess that's what it is. Or well, off brand one, maybe. Alright, well, make sure the video's not too long. Let me head on out. Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, I hope you all enjoyed that hunt. It was actually great. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. I just got one thing that I saw. A Jurassic World Legacy Collection 1997 Mercedes-Benz ML320. So, yeah. The Benz, I'm guessing this is the one from the movie or one of them, maybe. I don't know. But I saw it and I liked it. So, I want to go ahead and get that. Yeah. But I will go ahead and let y'all know your boy birthday is next month. Oh yes. And I don't want to spend too much today because I know I'm gonna spend some money next month, obviously. What I'm planning on doing, planning on it. We'll see if it happens. I want to go to two different antique stores and one toy store. Obviously, one of the antique stores is gonna be this place, but it's gonna be one other that I'm surprised y'all with. And the toy store, well, for those of you all who are toy collectors and people who watch channels like this, like mine or whatnot, you probably already know what store I'm gonna go to here in Georgia, but it's a toy store that I'm gonna go to that's very popular down here. So I'm gonna hit up at least those two other places plus this mall again. So stay tuned, month of May. I'm going to be hunting and hunting and hunting some more. So please do me a favor. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe and notification button. So you will know when I post those new videos. All right. Well, take care. Be blessed. Have a toy-rific day.